What's up guys, in this quick tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to grade log footage in Resolve and also get that cinematic film look that so many people desire. So a few things I want to say before we get started here. Um, there's only a few people on YouTube that I trust with color grading tutorials and that's people like Matthew Scott or um, Juan Malara. And obviously these guys uh, make pretty advanced videos, uh, so if you're a beginner trying to learn Resolve, that may not be the best for you. So I'm going to keep it simple in this tutorial and just work with about three or four nodes max. Uh, I just got to say, color grading log footage is not hard. It's, it's, it's not hard. There are so many people out here on YouTube making tutorials that have absolutely no idea what they're doing. And, and some of them will be making like 10,000 nodes for a grade that still looks like crap in the end. And, you know, it's it's just ridiculous. You don't need to do that. It's not hard. It's really simple. You could just add saturation and contrast and call it good. And in one of these uh, grades, that's what I'm going to be doing. And you'll see how good it looks. And it's, it's just not hard. So, I mean, really, just keep it simple and it'll still look great. And also, if you're looking for a tutorial on how to use Resolve, uh, this video is not for you. There's a ton of videos out there that show you how to get started and set everything up in Resolve. So... Go watch that first and then come back here for a little bit of color grading. All right, let's get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is add three nodes. And on the very last one, I'm going to load a 3D LUT. Go over to the Film Looks tab. And all of these, uh, they come default with Resolve, so you will have these. And I usually like to use the Rec. 709 Kodak 2383 D65. Um, you can use D60 or D55. Basically, the lower the number, the warmer your white point is going to be. So 55 is going to have a very warm white point, and uh, 60 is going to be somewhere in between, and 65 should have a white point that's pretty much near white. Anyways, I'm going to choose D65 because that's usually what I always use. I like to have a pretty neutral white point. Now, always make sure you're grading underneath this LUT because... Um, if you, if you try to grade after it, it won't turn out right. The colors will be way off and the, uh, the dynamic range might be destroyed because I know some of the LUTs and Resolve um, don't preserve dynamic range, so you'll be losing a lot of that. And we don't want to be losing any information, so always grade underneath the LUT. Uh, that's just the way they're designed to be used, so yeah. Uh, I kind of work backwards here. Um, it's, it's a little weird, just, just follow with me. But anyways, go back over to the first node and we're going to bump up the saturation all the way come over to the second node and bump it up a little bit more uh, maybe around 70 yeah it looks good but as you can see it's still really looking washed out and nasty so just come over to the curves and i just first thing i like to do is um bring the white point down a little bit uh, it just makes it a little softer and a little bit easier on the eye it's not so harsh and then I mess with the curves. Um, I'm going for a pretty contrasty, uh, sort of underexposed look here. But um, yeah, just mess around with the curves until you get it right, until you get something that looks about right. And then just work from there. And as you can see right now, it's already looking great. Um, <laughs> there's really not much else you need to do. If, if your image has like a bit of a green tint to it, like I know a lot of black magic footage has that, just go over to the primaries bars and what I like this is what I like to do I'll just um, I'll bump the green down a bit on the gamma if it's looking green and I want that to back off a little bit or you can bump up the red gives it a little bit of a warmer look so um, that's what I'm gonna do for this one because I want it to look just a little bit warmer and another thing you can do to get that cinematic look is go to the output blanking and choose either anywhere from 2.35 to 2.4 uh, I like to use 2.4 gives you that wide aspect ratio looks pretty nice so anyways I personally I would just leave it like this it looks great I mean if if 90 percent of people just left their grades like this and kept it simple and you know nice and clean that would be amazing but anyways uh, if you want to get real complicated with it you can add another node I'm just gonna add this before everything else go over to your power windows click on the circle um, click on that little thing make sure it's inverted and um, just make yourself a little vignette um, expand it a little bit and bring down the gain yeah, it looks about right right around there 
uh, feather it a little bit more and um, bring down the gain just a little bit more so yeah basically that's the film look that everyone loves um, obviously you can use different LUTs and stuff like that but that's just my personal preference anyways on to the next one here go over here and add we'll just we'll just do this one with two nodes um, so literally all I'm gonna do is add some contrast bring down the white point a little bit soften up those highlights just a little bit and that looks about right add saturation and that looks saturated enough for me um, it does have a little bit of a green tint to it still um, because you know that's just black magic footage go over here to the gamma bring the green down a notch and I think that looks great I think it looks perfect uh, there's there's nothing else you need to do uh, you can add more saturation if you want you can mess with the uh, the hue of the sky if you want it to look a little more teal but I mean you really don't need to do that it looks great it's it's fine that's that's the most basic grade you can get with log footage literally all you do is balance the image and mess with the curves so like I said not hard um, just saturation and contrast basically now over to this next one this is actually um, Ursa mini 4.6 K footage that a friend of mine shot and the rest the rest of its um, black magic pocket cinema camera footage so anyways on this one we will do the film look I'm just gonna add two nodes and uh, choose the d65 LUT again go back over to the first node and the contrast curve is a little different on Ursa mini footage and uh, same with the saturation you don't need to add as much um, but anyways you just go over here mess with the curves bring down the white point a little bit get your contrast just about right where you want it um, that looks about good to me I don't really have to mess with it too much but as you can see it has a little bit of a purple tint to it kind of like a magenta and um, basically I'm just gonna bring the green up a notch in the gamma and boom <laughs> that looks great I really don't think you need to do anything else to this I it, it looks great I mean if you look at the mountains they're just this beautiful blue color and uh, everything is balanced and I, I just really like the look of that it's simple it's clean um, you don't need to do much else anyways on to another grade um, this one just gonna do another basic look uh, not gonna add any LUTs to it just a basic grade and you know what I, I don't think we need any more than one node for this yeah so anyways I'm, I'm just gonna do this with one node add saturation um, add a little bit of contrast again and bring down that white point I that's just something I prefer to do makes it look nice and soft creamy and that looks about right yeah, right around there so um, that that looks great to me honestly still has a little bit of a green tint to it so I'll come over here and mess with the gamma um, that that looks a little bit too purple for me uh, it looks a little bit too blue for me yeah I'm just gonna come over here to the log controls and just offset it a little bit to the reds and that looks that looks good to me there you go done done with the grade it's, it's not that hard like I said um, yeah so that's pretty cinematic you don't have to do much I mean it's it's not a stylized look obviously but it's it's clean um, if you're just going for a basic look that's not gonna hurt people's eyes there you go <laughs> so go over to this last one again add three nodes we're gonna do the film look on this one um, I'm gonna choose the Rick 709 um, 2383 d60 because this is actually a sunset shot so maybe warm highlights will look a little better on this one anyways load that in go over to your first node add saturation second node again add saturation and that's not looking so great yet so we're gonna bring down this uh, white point add a little bit of contrast there and you can see all this information just come back out of the blue it's it looked all washed out and nasty but there's still plenty of information you just gotta mess with the curves before the LUT and that looks about right to me uh, maybe make it a little more reddish a little more pinkish you know I remember the sunset when I saw that being a little more on the uh, the pink side sort of reddish pink 
So if you go over to the hue versus hue tab, click on the red and bring that up a little bit, that will solve your problem. So as you can see here, uh, bring that up. Obviously that's a little too far. You don't want it to be purple or green or yellow, but uh, just, just bring it up a little bit until you get the kind of hue that you want. And uh, I just have to say this, the hue versus hue tab is so powerful. You can get pretty much almost any look you want out of that. Uh, same with the hue versus saturation. It didn't look saturated enough for me, so I'm going to bump that up a little bit. And boom, there you go. Before and after. So it's it's super simple, uh, not hard. And, you know, these just these basic controls will get you exactly the look that you want in just a minimal amount of time. And you can do this with any log footage or it, just any footage in general. Um, obviously different cameras have different looks and different color spaces so sometimes matching them can get pretty tricky but that's that's for another video and like I said um, these are these aren't stylized looks it's just basically the film look and a basic grade uh, if you want stylized stuff that's obviously that's gonna be another video too but um, yeah in conclusion just balance your image make sure it's not too warm not too cool um, correct any weird tints that might be on it add a contrast curve, add saturation, and you're good. So just go grade some footage, mess around a little bit, um, keep it simple, just don't overdo it, and you'll be fine. So I think that does it for today. Let me know what you guys think of this video, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.